WWDC Apple's Developers Conference runs June 7th through 11th and will be entirely online, just like last year. We're hoping to hear about iOS 15, Mac OS 12, and much more. WWDC is nearly upon us. And yes, you heard correctly, the five days of developer sessions will be online only and come under the ever brightening shadow of the pandemic. The biggest news will happen during the expected keynote on Monday, June 7th. We expect previews of Apple's next operating systems like iOS 15, iPad OS 15, Mac OS 12, Watch OS 8, and TV OS 15. There could also be hardware news like a follow-up to Apple's M1 chip and even new Pro Max, finally. So let's break it all down and start with Apple's announcement for WWDC, which came with a picture and animation of a Memoji character looking at a MacBook. The image is a nod to memes that popped up after Apple's November Mac event, where the company's senior vice president of software engineering, Craig Federighi, showed off Macs with the M1 chip and how they can instantly wake up. The video was underscored by the Barry White song, Plain Your Game Baby, and appropriately cheesy. How cool is that? The tagline for WWDC 21 is glow and behold. Usually invites and announcements for Apple events include Easter eggs. So could the fact that the Memoji is wearing glasses that reflect software be a tease for the heavily rumored Apple AR glasses? Or perhaps glow is a reference to the headlights on the rumored self-driving Apple car? Or maybe the photo and its animation is just a nod to the new Mac OS features and its dock. Now look, one of the most exciting parts of WWDC is the preview of the next version of the iPhone's operating system. It's likely going to be called iOS 15 and iPad OS 15 for, well, the iPad. Last year's launch of iOS 14 included new customizations for the home screen, picture and picture video, better widgets, a new Siri interface, and app library iOS 15 rumors point to new notification settings based on your current activity, more customizations and interactions for widgets, and new iMessage features that could make it more competitive with WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger. iPad OS 15 could add new home screen customizations, and the widgets might be freed from their widget lockup, yay, and get more iPhone-like controls. Last fall, Apple launched new iPads, and recently, the new iPad Pro with M1 chip launched, but the distinction between Pro and non-Pro iPad models is really based more on hardware differences than software. It would be great to see more iPad OS feature support Pro users, and it's gonna be curious to see how the next generation of iPad OS goes about handling both A-series iPads and M-series ones. Then there's Mac OS. Devoted Apple fans always enjoy the name reveal for the next version of Mac OS. For years, OS X versions were named after big cats like Snow Leopard and Lion. Then in 2014, with the release of 10.10, .10, Apple started nicknaming software after notable California landmarks like Yosemite and most recently, Big Sur. So maybe the next one will be called Mac OS Monterey or Mac OS Golden Gate or perhaps Mac OS Hollywood sign. Yeah, I have no idea. There's not much known about Apple's next update for its computer operating system. There haven't been any specific rumors or leaks. It could be that Mac OS 12 will be a smaller update focused on under the hood changes, a la Snow Leopard back in the day. Also, M1 chips are approaching their first birthday and currently Mac OS needs to support Apple Silicon Macs as well as Intel based Macs. But that points to a bigger question. Where are the Apple Silicon Pro machines, huh? Pro Mac hardware is frequently announced at WWDC keynotes, and it's not clear if there's gonna be a new version of the M1 chip at WWDC 21, like a, an M2 chip or an M1X chip. Who knows? Many of us hope to see a shiny new 16-inch MacBook Pro or a larger iMac Pro that uses the Pro version of the M series chip. In addition to iPhone and computers, expect software updates for the Apple Watch, like Mac OS 
there are hardly any leaked details about Watch OS 8. That said, there are several persistent rumors from the past few years that have yet to materialize. One rumor from over a year ago is the inclusion of mental health features. For example, the Apple Watch 6 has a pulse oximeter and it could be used along with heart rate readings to detect high levels of stress and even panic attacks. Another rumor dating back to 2017 hints at the Apple Watch being able to monitor blood sugar levels. However, this seems like a feature that would be revealed at an Apple Watch launch, like it would require new hardware, like maybe a spectrometer to perform these measurements. One feature many of us hope for is removing the Apple Watch's dependence on the iPhone. It would open up the Apple Watch to so many more people who don't have iOS devices. We saw the iPhone divorced from the Mac with iOS 5 in 2011, but it's not clear what's required in terms of hardware and software to accomplish this for the watch. Speaking of watch, if you're wondering how and when you can watch WWDC 21, Apple typically hosts a live stream for its Monday keynote on its website. There will likely also be a live feed on Apple's YouTube channel and Apple will stream sessions throughout the week for free for all developers. So that's all I've got, but now I wanna hear from you. What are you most excited about when it comes to WWDC? Is there anything in particular that you're hoping gets announced? Throw your thoughts in the comments.